Hello, this is K5ENB again. Today I want to talk about how to configure the Raspberry Pi 2. Many people will have configuration files from a previous system. But now let's talk about creating the configuration from scratch. This is usually a difficult process that involves creating individual con configuration files and then editing them for a few specific changes. I will show you some of the changes that are needed, but I've created a, a script that should do much of the work for you. At the end, you will still need to edit your hardware file for your interface specifics, but hopefully this script will save you some time and prevent common editing errors. You'll need some information before you begin. Your interface type will dictate which of the two channel drivers you will need, USB radio or simple USB. You'll have to choose that at, at the very beginning of the script. You will also need your node number, node password, and call sign to enter in. Let's begin. All right, log into your Pi 2 as root and then cd to etsy asterisk um, you can take a look make sure that there's nothing there um, be aware that the script will overwrite configuration files that are already in existence so if you have them you may want to save them someplace first but assuming the directory is empty like this one is we do a wget a wget http colon slash slash uk all star hub dot ddns dot net slash resources slash all star dash config slash configure dot pl should download it for you and if you look in the directory you should see it now next step is just to simply run it using Perl Perl configure dot pl It will ask you which of the channel drivers that you want to configure. Let's assume USB radio here. Call sign. Node number. And node password. And that's just a dummy password, of course. It will go out to the server, download the files, configure them, and should be done. Now look at the directory again, and you should see all, all of your files there. Most people who are new to Linux are probably not comfortable enough using the Nano or VI editors to alter your configuration files. So I strongly recommend WinSCP. I've shown this in the previous videos. Uh, log in as root to your Pi 2. Now that you're logged in, navigate to Etsy asterisk, and you can see all your configuration files in here. We can look at one, for example, where the information has been changed. You can see the node number and the call sign. All the file, well, some of the files have been altered this way. Some, some do not need changes. Now, usbradio.conf or simpleusb.conf, you will need to modify. Um, this is what USB radio looks like. Um, these settings are probably not ideal for your system, um, although you could get lucky. 
um, you may have to modify them. Uh, the documentation, I will show you in a minute. AllStarLink.org has a very good description of the USB radio on this page. And Onosec.org, which is the asterisk app RPT site, has a very good simple USB.conf uh, documentation. Once you're done, you can delete the config.dl. It's not needed to run asterisk or all star. And that should be it. Uh, good luck, and uh, it's good talking to you again. 73, and uh, be sure to visit the UKAllStarHub.com website. Thank you.